Hi, hello all. In the last video, we discussed many things regarding engineering graphics. Let us continue. In the previous one, we stated that engineering graphics is a language and it is meant for engineers. It is meant for communication and in order to have effective communication, we must have certain standards. Those standards are done by a national governing body. Yes, it is BAS. BAS is nothing but Bureau of Indian Standards, formerly known as ISI, Indian Standards Institution, established in the year 1947. From there on, they have standards for many things. Even for gold, the standards are given accordingly by Hallmark. Yes, sticking back to this one. Here, BAS, they have recommended various things and according to those things, we have to communicate. As like most of the languages, engineering graphics to have a set of letters to communicate. This is quite different. The letters are nothing but lines. Various lines are there. Those lines are used at the appropriate places to have effective communication. Let us see about those things. What is this? Yes, of course, we say it as a line or else a straight line. What about this one? This one too is a straight line. What is the difference between these two? Yes, of course, they are varied by thickness. This two matters a lot. This is a thick continuous line. This is a thin continuous line. So we have to be very clear about the line types that we use for effective communication. If we use anything in a wrong way that will give a misunderstanding. This one, a line made of dashes, we call it as dashed line. So of course, the next one, dashed line thin. So we can call this as dashed line thick. This one, dashed line thin. The next one is a line made of long dash and short dash. This has a name. It is called as chain. Yes, there is a small variation. Look at this. Even by this way, we differentiate the line. So this one is a chain. This one is a chain with darkened ends. So here, a chain, it has dark and the ends and also at the bends. We we'll look at the application. Okay, we will follow those things. Then here, a continuous a line, it's a wavy line. It's a continuous thin line with zigzag. How does this differ? Yes, of course. Here it is. A long dash followed by two short dashes. This has a name called phantom. So these are some of the lines that we uh, use commonly. Even there is another one thing called Here it is. A chain, of course. Here it is a thin chain. Here it is a thick chain. So these are some of the lines that we use in engineering graphics and each and everything should be used appropriately to communicate effectively. Now here, this is a thick continuous line. What is the use of this one? This one gives the edges or 
the boundary of the object. This gives the edges of the object or else the boundary of the object. Then what about this one? This can be used for uh, drawing or projection or for construction or even for dimensioning. Uh, even for um, various other purposes we use these things. It is a thin continuous line. Next things are uh, dashed lines are used to represent edges of the object which are not visible to us. Edges of the object which are not visible to us. So we use those things for hidden hidden edges. Okay. So whenever we have an edge which is not visible for the observer we represent with the help of hidden lines that is dashed line. Here these two can be used either this one or this one. This is also fine or even we can use this one. We, can, we have to stick on to any one of that in the entire drawing. Next one, this one is called chain. Long dash, space, short dash, space, long dash. It goes on that way. We call it as a chain. This is used to represent the axis of a, a solid or else even for a, a line of symmetry, line of symmetry, center line. We can call that way. This one, the chain with darkened edges darkened ends or bends. This is used to mention cutting planes. We will look, look at those stuff in the uh, later videos where we will be able to cut the solid and we will be able to look at the shape or the uh, interior of a solid. In those cases we need to represent the cutting plane. That thing can be represented with this way. Then what about these things? Sir? Continuous wavy line or a continuous thin with zigzag lines. These are used to show a partial view of an object. For example, if we have a, um, an object which is similar from one end to the other, if you want to focus at one place, we don't want to uh, draw the entire diagram. We can just terminate this way. We can just terminate this way. We can terminate this way. We cannot do it like this. We cannot do it like this. This has a different meaning. Because if you draw something like this and if you terminate this way, that says that the object is over there. But here, we are looking something and we are focusing on one region. We are focusing on one region. So here, this says that we are having a partial look at an object. Then, uh, this can also be used for the same case. But we must not mix up those two in the same diagram. If you want to go by this, go by this or else you can even use this one. The next one, it is a long dash followed by two short dashes. It is used in certain places. Uh, like if I want to show a movement of an object, I can draw it from one extreme end and the other extreme end, I can show the same uh, shape with the help of this thing. And it is called phantom. The last one, it is a chain, thick, a thick chain can be used to represent certain surfaces where certain operations or certain other uh, coating or certain things should be done. So these are set of lines which are used in a diagram to communicate in an effective way. So please understand this thing. So here, throughout this line types, I used to say a thick and thin. What about these things? How do we draw a thick line? How do we draw a thin line? Is there any specification for that? Yes, of course we do have. So here, if you look at, uh, there are plenty of instruments we use for uh, creating a drawing in a uh, board or even in a sheet of paper. Uh, let us consider the instruments what we use. The most important uh, instrument what we use, a pencil. A pencil is used to draw in a paper. Okay. In this pencil, we can draw a thick line or even we can draw a thin line. I'm not saying about uh, um, by sharpening it. I'm not saying like that. We have different pencils to draw different shapes. For example, I have two pencils in my hand. Are these two the same? It seems to be so, but it is not. Look at... Here, we call these things as lead or as a graphite. 
these two are different in thickness this one it is 10b could you see it whereas this one it is h here it has h here it has b with a number in front of it so let us know uh, it is quite interesting stuff to know about pencils let us see something about it grades we can call it as pencil grades there are two major grades used one is b and another one is h so here b stands for black h stands for hard usually in the making of pencil there is graphite in addition we add some clay content to make it hard so if the predominant thing is hard we classify it as hard if it is predominantly black graphite then we call it as black in addition there are things like 2b 3b it goes on even this one i have in my hand it is 10b there are various grades in between similarly even we can have something like this 2h 3h it goes on the way it goes on the way so what we understand this is black pencils these are black pencils these are hard pencils mostly we use a pencil called hb that is nothing but hard black combination of these two hard black it's a intermediate level let us consider like that so here these are usually soft in nature these are usually soft in nature if you sharpen it it could um, uh, become powder easily so these are soft in nature and this can create black lines and in as it is soft in nature the lead is made quite thicker you even you can compare it this one is a, a 10b pencil and this one is a h pencil is it clear so now if i want to make a thick line which one should i use yes of course i have to use a black pencil if i want to make a thin line i have to use a hard pencil so we don't choose things like this while we draw the drawing sheet must be clean these pencils are black pencils we cannot uh, use those things uh, to draw diagrams with a neat uh, presentation so what we do is we choose something like this or else even something like this hb h2h so we have to compare things among this among this how do we classify this is this has some black is it clear so this is a, a black pencil this is intermediate this is a hard pencil as the number increases that will become harder and harder so let us consider if you choose h and 2h h and 2h this is a hard one this is comparatively a softer one so we choose pencils to draw accordingly even in this case i can say something like this uh, let it be 0.3 to 0.5 mm we look at those things as well that is also very important and if you say usually the thin line is half the thickness of the thick line so here it is something like this 0.5 to 0.7 uh in order to have a definite value let us consider this to be 0.35 let this be 0.7 mm is it clear so here we have two types of lines a thin line and a thick line the thick line is double the thickness double the thickness of the thin line what if the diagram is too big what if the diagram is too big if i draw it in a huge a uh, wall or something like that we cannot go by this thickness in that case just have that in mind whenever we draw a bigger one where we can choose two thicknesses something like uh, let us uh, consider 1 mm and 2 mm double the thickness the thick line should be double the thickness of thin line so use the pencils effectively choose the pencils effectively okay make use of it so that we will be able to 
draw lines effectively. Once we are able to draw the lines effectively, we will be able to communicate effectively. If a line is drawn mistakenly, the observer, the reader could get it in a wrong way. So please make sure that you are using the pencils in the correct manner. Okay. Yes, of course, we will continue the uh, lessons in the upcoming videos. Thank you. Thank you. Take care.